So here's a condenser comparison on a 2017 Honda Civic. And let's see what we have here. So here's a machinist ruler for measuring. You could all the way go down to uh, 60th, 60th of an inch or something like that. Really ridiculous small measurements, but we don't need that. Let's get up there towards the 28th, 28th of an inch or so per inch. Now I marked on here, let's see if you could see this. I'm gonna start at the five mark. At the five inch mark right there is our, where our first, our first fin starts right at the five inch mark where I have the black dot up above. For every black dot that you see is two fins. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. In one inch, there's 24 fins in one inch. This is the original equipment Honda condenser. 24 fins in one inch. Now let's come to this aftermarket condenser and do the exact same thing. Where the first fin starts, right there. You see the number five? I'm starting at the first fin. You see the black dots up above? You see two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. You don't quite make it to 16 because the six is right in the middle of the next two fins and you only get half of a one, one half of the two fins, so 15. So on this aftermarket condenser, you only get 15 fins in one inch. On the OEM, you get 20, what was that, 24 fins per inch. Now check this out. Uh, you see this right here, this rubber right there? That's to stop the hot air from coming around and reheating. On this one, let's see, can I get in there? Uh, can't really get in there, but if you could see down inside there, there is no uh, foam from stopping the hot air from rolling around because this is a negative pressure in the front. It's literally sucking. It's hot, high pressure inside, and it comes through around the radiator, and it literally blows out hot air or it gets sucked in and goes and reheats your condenser. On the bottom, coming down here, nothing. So right from here, you have air passage because the air will take the path of least resistance and it'll go right there. Okay, that you don't want. So when you buy aftermarket, you get screwed in many different ways. And uh, that's one of them. So I haven't made one of these films in a while about uh, some of the aftermarket condensers. So for you new subscribers and anyone new coming across this, this is, you, you're saving money when you're buying one of these aftermarket condensers, but think twice about that. Look at what the difference is. Then when it comes time and you're in a hot climate and you're going to a mechanic and you told him it doesn't cool very well when it gets really hot outside and he's trying to diagnose why there's a high head pressure, why it doesn't cool very well when it's 105 degrees outside, well, that's the reason. Because you only have 15 fins per inch instead of 24 fins per inch. And when you're at idle, you're bypassing hot air coming right around here and reheating this whole row right here with like 180, 200 degree heat. If you're in Arizona or Nevada or Texas in the summertime and it's 100, 105 degree heat, you have near 200 degree air wrapping around, bypassing this area and reheating this out here with hotter air than what the ambient is. And that's the last thing in the world you want done. So, watch out what quality and what brand you buy when you're getting aftermarket parts and you think you're saving money.